I'll be streaming some art today, and also gonna play a little game. Um, and I haven't decided yet which game I'll be playing today, so I'll most likely put up a poll in chat. Uh, let me think of some cool options. Um, yeah, I'll just put it in there, you can vote for that, and then after I'm done with some funny art stuff, um, we'll just play a game and see how that goes. Uh, first time I'm doing- well, not the first time I'm doing a stream like this, actually. I've done stuff before like this where um, <laughs> I first draw some stuff and then switch over to a game. Uh, my streams are like generally quite short anyway, so um, I like to mix things up. I can't stream for too long, but I do want to do all kinds of fun stuff. <laughs> so I just set a cram it all in there. But uh, it's usually a fun time. More focused experience is what you can call it. Let's see. Oh, hey, it's uh, Oh, look, it's an artist. Hello. Woo, art stream. Yeah, that's right. And some games. So, Cyanity, hey, hello, how y'all doing? Hope you're having a good Monday. Let me see. Um, how do I want to do this? Let me just switch on over. Uh, so, my art program, got it right here. Uh, I still have the old description from the Rayman 2 screen. Ignore that, ignore that. There we go. I'm gonna put up some music. I think it will be nice to listen to something while we do this. Uh, I'm gonna put up the... Let's see, how long is this? 23 minutes? Uh, that should work. Might be a little loud, excuse me, one second. Oh, nice, I already set the volume well. There we go. Put it a little lower. Quite loud. There we go, okay. I think that should be good. Right volume? Yeah, looks like we're all set. I'll, I'll still be setting up stuff during the stream, um, because this was very much a last minute decision, where I thought like, oh, I want to stream something today. That could be fun. Uh, let me make a poll, so people can, like, while I'm drawing, people can vote for a game. That sounds about right. It's gonna call it game, and then a bunch of question marks. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking Sonic and the Black Knight, that's an option, just kind of in the mood for that. Um, oh, what else, what else do I have? What am I currently hyper fixating on? Um, oh, I might want to play some Splinter Cell, but I don't have that installed, unfortunately. I love me some funny sneaky games. The soundtrack is uh, flipping Major Magnet, by the way, uh, done by T. Lopes, uh, and the team who made Major Magnet, which is a little iPhone game, where you can like tap magnets to make a character go around and stuff, it's actually quite fun, I played it once. Um, but yeah, it's by the people who later went on to make Sonic Mania, like some of those devs, so that's really cool. I wish the game would come to the Switch. Uh, Bubsy? I hear someone say Bubsy. Alright, I'll put Bubsy 4 in the polls, I can install that quickly and just... I kinda do like that game, I hate it! Like, I mean, it's it's one of the worst Bubsy games because it has no personality whatsoever. Your <laughs> personality! Sorry. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be a good time, because I love speedrunning that little game. Pizza Tower. Oh, I have that installed, but I haven't played it in so long. Ah, I'm not sure if I'm in the mood for Pizza Tower. Let me check my shelf. What do I have here? Oh, more Rayman 2. Yes. I'm always down for more Rayman 2. That could be a good time. Let me just put these on there. Three, three options. Um, people can vote while I draw today. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope it's Sonic. I remember the plays of Sonic and I'm like, nice. Ah, that game is so fun. Like, remarkably fun, even though it's, you know, it's Sonic and the Black Knight, so... <laughs> Let's see, I uh, love the background you posted the other day. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Uh, as, as some of you may know, I have been working on a little cartoon. See, what is the background that I made? Nope, that's that's not that one. Not that, not this time. This one, yeah. <laughs> I am, I'm trying to show as little as possible from this cartoon that I'm making, because I don't want to make any spoilers whatsoever. Uh, but I get too excited while working on it, and uh, this is one of the backgrounds of a little short animation that I'm currently working on, and it's gonna be so cool! Like, I just got the, um, I did some voice directing for the first time last week with a friend, uh, who was so very kind to voice a character for this animation, um, and it went well! It was a lot of fun, actually, to just collaborate in that way, to, like, explain, like, okay, so this is what I mean with the script, like, this is the kind of emotion I'm looking for here, and then just the other person like doing it to the best of their abilities. And it was good, it was like, really good. I'm always impressed by how good my friends are at art and voices and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, today I want to make a new background for my animation. And I'm just gonna pick like a, um, a random one. Like on a, in another screen, I'm opening my storyboards right now. Um, I, I storyboarded the whole thing already. Uh, I think one of the characters, two of the characters already have all their voice clips. And now I'm just animating it, and I'm one twelfth of the way there. So that's interesting. Let's see. Mm -mm. Here we go. 
Yeah, just gonna take a second to load up some boards. Oh, 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 oh there's, there's, oh, there's audio. I forgot. <laughs> there's, I'm gonna mute that real quick. That is my own audio for the storyboard that you might hear in the background. Uh, I did. I like recorded my own voice for the whole thing. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This could be fun. Okay, I got a good one. I'll import that into my drawing program, Clip Studio Paint. Mm -hmm. There we go. So here's a little shot from the animation. There's a silhouette in the foreground, the character's over here. Um, and then there's a giant cauldron thing in the background. Very important shot because it, it showcases a lot of stuff that's going on in this world, basically. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? I think the silhouettes and the characters, I'm just gonna do those in a different program. Uh, basically the drawing program that I use for the characters and the expressions and all that. Uh, like, they're all vector shapes, but the backgrounds are drawn. 2D paintings. Let's see, whoa, who's that elf guy? I wonder who plays him. I don't know. Some, some toxic dude. Some, some strange goober. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep the colors consistent. That's the wrong one. I'm gonna, nope, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spoil the whole dang animation at this rate. Okay, just gonna take a screenshot of this real quick uh, and just copy paste it in here to make sure that I get the same colors. Mm -mm. There we go. Okay, so these are the colors I need. I'm just gonna put those over here to the side. And this is the background that I'm gonna try to paint today. Let's see how it goes. I'm just gonna put down some flats. Um, the, I wanna get the right shade of. I think I'll need to illustrate the sky because I have the sky already. Like, I, I drew, just drew one sky and I'm gonna use that over and over again whenever I, there's a sky in the background. <laughs> Let's see. Mark, just to warn you, I remember what interesting me. I keep saying interesting, don't I? Gosh dang it! <laughs> I'm predictable. Nebula taught me how to turn off the heart in chat. How do you do that? How? 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 Tell me! I have no idea. Just so annoying, like it covers up some flipping. Ugh, like it covers up some comments. Very annoying. Mm. Spoiler alert, Mark will say, It's Markiplier time. It's Morbid time. Check DMs, okay. Oh, I can't wait for my friend who sent me a virus. Yippee! Oh, oh, oh! What in the ass? Okay, let me check that out real quick. I'm gonna disable that because it's so annoying. I can't find the button. <laughs> I think it's like... I don't have this tab! No! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to fix this. Somewhere. It has to be somewhere. Hmm. What is it? How strange. I don't see it here. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is! Okay, I think... I think... It, yes! It's turned off! Thank you so much, Hane. Appreciate it. Heck yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there's animation. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Nobody's supposed to notice! <laughs> have you seen the Mario Party DS anti-piracy series? Because the ending is just so silly, I think you'd like it. I don't know, I have seen... Like, I know about the, um... About the meme, obviously, it's like, uh, the piracy is no joke, it's gonna be rude. But, um, so I'm, I'm gonna start painting. I need to actually make some stuff real quick. Otherwise, my head explodes. I'm just gonna block in the, um, shapes. General, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'll just start painting and see what happens. <laughs> That's how it usually goes. Man, I was at a flipping animation festival this weekend, and I got so flipping excited. To work on my own stuff more and just talking to creative people was just amazing. Ah! Something so cool about animation, how just anybody can do it and how everybody supports each other and it gives me so much energy and it's so flipping cool! Wow. It makes them. It displeases the Mark. Marky like. <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but my friends and I, like, we. <laughs> we're establishing catchphrases for me for some reason. I don't even- I don't know how this happened, but now my catchphrase is Marky no likey, or Marky likey, whenever I approve or disapprove of something, and it's amazing. 
One of the best things ever. Let me see. <laughs> Keep thinking about it. It cannot become a vocal stim. I, it cannot. I cannot let that happen. The world cannot suffer for that. <laughs> oh boy. Like thin trees over here in the back. Ooh, that's a, there we go. Uh, da -da. We'll probably start on the ground. I'm doing the background trees, but I don't know why I'm starting with this. There we go. Alright, yeah, the ground first. The ground first. I have a weird process when it comes to painting. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm gonna use like this very thick, like, uh, brush strokey brush. Uh, at first, I'm gonna do some finer details with the smaller brush that I have. Give it that more of an oil painting kind of look. Like it's just, like it's 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 like big brush strokes combined with some uh, like more more gentle stuff. I think it'll look pretty cool when it's done. But hey, you never know. Hmm. <laughs> the bull. And no more heart. No more soul. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> see. Hello, hello, hey, Flickasaur, hello, got gotcha, you could make it. Congrats, you have to move the, <laughs> you have removed a major organ. Da -da 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 <laughs> Marky like. <laughs> I thought your catchphrase was a key smash. Shut up! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> Barry Dominicarine. Yes. Okay, so let's some hills back there. Okay, so, basic painting tip. Stuff in the background is lighter and less saturated. Uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna make that all one layer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stupid like that. <laughs> the fewer layers, the better, right? Efficient animation. I'm just kinda I'm just kinda messing around. I don't even know what this is gonna look like. There we go. Just know that there's like a bunch of hills. I'm gonna copy paste the cauldron from from a different drawing. Um I already did this one. So that's efficient. Maybe a bit more yellowy actually. I want it to be a bit more brown and yellowy over there in the background. So it's kinda fading from green to yellow brownish, I guess. Like brown, is it? There we go. There we go. Just some variety in there. I think the colors are gonna look a little weird for this one, but um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. I, I'm always too early with criticizing my own work. I will just see how it goes. I tell myself aggressively over and over in the mirror <laughs> as I redraw everything seven times. <laughs> okay. Um. Now let's see, let's take this and add some more definition to it. Hold on a sec, that ain't right. Which colors did I use in here? It's still very much in the, uh, huh. This kind of direction, it's more, oh, it fades a little bit to red. Okay, yeah, because I wanted it to fade in with the trees and stuff a little more. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, there's gonna be a very dark silhouette in front of this anyway. Gonna, oh, it's all gonna work out. Don't worry about it. I do not name my layers ever because I'm so smart. <laughs> okay, all right. Nothing to worry about here. Oh, it's just gonna be covered up by the foreground anyway. All right, there's like the little guys. I forgot about the little guys. I wanna have some little guys in this shot. I'm gonna mark where they're supposed to be. I'm gonna put this one a little farther back so there's more room for the characters. Indicating some, some spots for myself where I'm gonna add some extra detail. Gonna make this all look a little better later on. Just, just, just indicating for myself where stuff's supposed to be. Could have some orange-ish grass over here. Why not? It's my world. You're in my world now, not your world. And I've got friends in the Bubsy fractured furry tails on the Atari Jaguar. I heard that game's really bad. Like, that's the worst Bubsy game of them all. I don't know. 
played a lot of bad stuff. Oh right, oh right, the edges are supposed to be like darker. I always I always forget. I always forget. It really gives a lot more depth. Yeah, that looks better, that looks better. Okay, okay. I wanna I want this to be a little more like greenish. Kinda like lacking the green. There we go. There we go. It's slowly starting to look like something. I'm just kinda nudging it. Squeezing it. Twisting it. Ripping it off and then attaching it again with a stapler. You know, you know how it goes. It's art. Kind of looks like a field ish. I need to practice grass more often, man. I didn't realize there would be so much grass in the scene, so I kept it kind of simple. Let's see. Uh, you will be dead in less than 10 seconds. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I thought your catchphrase was, I love Bubsy 3D. I would never say that. Did you make that brush yourself? I did. I made br both of these brushes myself. Uh, like one of them is, let me just show you. Uh, da -da -da. Like this is the, the big one. It's just a lot of these shapes over and over. This, basically. A bit of texture, a bit of uh, everything. Slight transparency to it. Let me pick a color that isn't disgusting. There we go. Uh, and then the other one, the shape is this. So it's kind of star shape. Um, and it's kind of like uh, fading near the edges. And there's some texture to it as well. I like using that. Pretty fun. Uh, but now for the main colors. Like there's supposed to be a lot more orange in the scene to actually make it consistent with uh, the other backgrounds. I do, I do feel like that's important. But at the same time, I don't want to ruin like the silhouette that's going to be in front. Like the background needs to be... Relatively bright in the scene uh, to not mess up the everything. Okay, let me just do the. Um, let me do some background first. Let me uh, let me see. I'm just gonna put this over here. I'm gonna start painting some like leaves and whatnot. Just basically like the back of the, the forest. I'm gonna go over there. There we go. See, the, f the fun thing about this this inconsistent kind of shape for a brush, like it just leaves the texture right in there. <laughs> leaves. Um, sorry. Uh, <laughs> it just it just does its, it, it does its own thing and it adds texture for you. So you don't need to do much. Well, you need to do you need to do a lot actually. Like you still need to look if it's uh, if it looks even remotely okay. Um, but like that's up to you. Like it, it just puts random stuff in there and from there you can just go. <laughs> Mate, Bobsius is bad in general. Erm, um, disagree. Kind of. Kind of. There's potential. There's stuff in there. There's stuff in there that I kind of like. And it's actually made out of passion, which is so interesting to me. Um, oh, right now, Bub... Uh, hold on, what am I saying? Not Bubsy. Rayman 2 is winning with 60%. Cast those poll votes, people. <laughs> oh, what a platform game be without platforms. <laughs> you said it, Bubster. Do I want to have, like, a hole in these things as well? Like, over here for the bloom to kind of... Come through. That'll be fun. Here, let's try that. There we go. Some variety. Like there's little holes in the, in the trees. I think that's fun. There we go. That's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, I think these streets are going to be like quite a bit darker. We're going to trace over them with a... Whoops, just a regular brush I've been using. I'm just gonna make them darker. Gonna add a little bit of green in there as well. Like as if there's like moss on the trees. I think that's fun. So they get darker near the top. That always happens with trees because, you know, that's where the leaves and stuff are. Uh, probably gonna... Man, this, this one is so like wide near the top. That doesn't look natural more organic shapes by just kind of erasing chunks of it. Maybe that's a bit much. Oh. Kind of splitting it in twain. Happens. Yeah, 
add some stuff back in. There we go. A lot to erase. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, just get that kind of organic shape in there, you know. That's what you want. Not just wigs and whatnot. It always surprises me. Like I start with this, and then I'm constantly thinking, like, "Oh man, this looks like this looks like <laughs> this looks like something. This looks like something, all right." But um, it'll come together in the end. I hope. If it doesn't, then I'll just start over later. Whatever. Nothing to lose. At least I'm having a fun time, listening to some good tunes and talking with some cool people. It's you. You're the cool people. I love you. <laughs> Man, what if the streamer got parasocial? Not like the, the, the comments. Just the streamer. That would be very fun. I'm sure somebody has done that concept before. Parasocial streamer. Oh, that's too dark. I don't like that. Um, go. Add some darkness near here so that the trees kind of blend into something. There we go. I think that looks okay from a distance. Like, you know, you're supposed to look at it from a distance, so, um, that's what I'll do. Alright, this needs to be a lot darker, actually, because it's like two trees combining. Hold on, hold on, I'm on the wrong layer. Like, when two objects meet, there's obviously gonna be some, like, a lot of puddle shadows that, uh, show that they are touching. Are they touching? I guess maybe one is in the front, one is more in the back. Just to separate them a little bit for the eye. I think that will be better. Yeah. Eh, sure. Let's separate this. Maybe a little twig over here that goes kind of like in front of the bright spot. That's always fun to have some kind of variation in there. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. That's how you can tell it's a tree. Yeah. Let's go. Do some more moss. Tie it together with the grass a little better. Oh man, this one's very bright. I'm not sure if I like that. This. Yeah. Maybe it's like reflecting some light from that very bright hole over here. Yeah, that's quite nice actually. I don't mind this. There we go. Oh, it adds like a little bit of realism to it. I like that. Bit of rim light, bit of rim light, yeah, let's go, let's go! Let's go! Tight, tight, tight! <laughs> Bubsy Frontiers, that has to be a mod! Oh, I hope so, I hope so. Edible mold exists? Sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, I wanna eat some moss, sure. Red Cat or Bubsy? Uh, I would say Bubsy. <laughs> I may have become real. No way! Insane. May leave early or suddenly since I'm at work right now. No problem. Anybody can just stop by or leave whenever they want. But yeah, I, normally I would say Red Cat. <laughs> Traitor! Normally I would say Red Cat, but... Uh, uh, I was actually at this event, like a while back, where uh, some of the creators of Bubsy were... Uh, no, hold on, not Bubsy. Uh, because, uh, unfortunately, Michael Berlin passed away. Like He's the creator of Bubsy, and uh, he's unfortunately no longer with us. He seemed like a swell dude. Um, but no, I met some of the creators of Red Cat. And that was interesting, because I was very excited, and I thought like, oh wow, that's so cool, I'm very passionate about this old childhood series that I grew up with and all that. And then later, like, I looked up these people and what they're involved with, and, and how they're apparently big supporters of AI, and how they're, like, planning to put more AI stuff in their games, and how they had some, like, interesting takes on LGBT folk, and it just made me sick to my stomach, so... Right now, I'm just kind of like, I'm good with Red Cat for now. <laughs> yeah. So I did not get the IP, no. <laughs> oh. Well. So uh, hey, let's check out Bubsy for a bit, right? <laughs> how bad can it be? Oh. Well. That's just how stuff goes, I guess. Well, never meet your heroes. No, like do meet your heroes. Just be mindful of who they are and what they do and and yeah I'm not gonna lie that made me super upset <laughs> like I got I legit got very sad after all that it was uh it was a bummer a bummer but to be sure but not a welcome one 
there such a thing as a welcome bummer? I don't know. Hello. We'll make our own cool things. We're blackjack and hookers. <laughs> gonna sprinkle some orange throughout the whole scene um, you know I guess that would make sense like they're in this dark forest patch and there's some light coming from the trees which will be filtered through the transparent leaves which kind of makes it orange <laughs> a little bit gonna mess up the values a little bit. let's see I feel like a brighter patch this looks quite nice very sunny I don't mind this at all hold on I kind of messed that up let me try it again. Am I on the right layer here? Hold on a second. Oh, I didn't have the preview enabled anymore. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah, like this. I do want to have some more contrast in here, I guess, but the characters are going to provide contrast as well, so, uh... Eh. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I want to take these backgrounds... ...things, and add just a dash of orange to them. Now that's... that's a lot of orange. That's not a dash. That's not a dash by any stretch of the imagination. Does this look like Dash Incredibles? I don't think so. I forgot I had the fucking Mario Kart 8 soundtrack in here, what the heck? <laughs> oh my god, oh! Ooh, 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 In this playlist, I also had like a work in progress version of my animation. And I almost spoiled the whole dang thing. <laughs> Yippee! Probably not gonna get a copyright strike, don't worry about it. Let's see, what else shall we put in here that doesn't get me a DMCA immediately? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. what other music do I have? I have smoothed brown noise, which is literally just like a noise thing to have on in the background. I have the Cuphead DLC. I don't know how stingy they are with copyright laws. I love the Cuphead DLC soundtrack. Ugh, it's so good. What else do they have? SpongeBob music. That's, that's definitely a copyright strike waiting to happen. Goodness gracious. Kirby Mass Attack. That's kind of fun. Kirby Triple Deluxe. Frogger. Okay, I love me some Frogger. I love me some Frogger. You know I love me some- I cannot- I can't not do some Frogger. It's been a while. Super Sponge Music is a bob. I don't know that one. Raise the volume a smidge because this soundtrack is a bob. I don't think this- is this Frogger 2? This, this one's called Frogger He's Back. I think it's just the first game. But uh, I heard the second game is a good soundtrack as well. Might be a smidge loud. Hold on, let me get that. Rayman 2 is still winning in the polls. Oh, I was kind of hoping for Sonic and the Black Knight. <laughs> hey, I should not influence the polls. I'm not rigging this stuff. I'm, I'm realizing now this background looks a little washed out because I'm drawing on my tablet screen. Which has uh, a lot, lot, lot more brighter colors uh, than on my big screen. Yeah, this is Frogger 1. Yeah. <laughs> Mark sues himself. <laughs> Hell yeah! I love getting sued. I'm gonna add a filter over this later to just brighten the colors a little bit. Um, because yeah, I'm just working on a different screen so it looks different here. <laughs> Mark gets political and influences the bulls! <laughs> I'm gonna rig them. I'm gonna hack them all. I'm gonna go into the mainframe. I'm gonna download more RAM. <laughs> Um, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. I'm working on this background for a while. Need to not forget my original goal. Am I gonna make like an actual path on these hills? Maybe. Let me check it out. What's this? This layer is nothing. Why do I have it? Um, what is this layer? This layer is nothing. Why do I have it? <laughs> okay, this is what's gonna be the markings on the tree. Or trees. I have it consistent with the other one, so I'm just gonna go like this and I'm 
I like doing funny tree markings. I'm gonna make this blend uh, better later, don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. That's all gonna buff out just fine. I like adding the funny swirls. Um, yeah, I'm a Rayman gamer, could you tell? This one's for the Rayman fans. Do, 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 do. Rayman fan. Live radio. Rayman. There we go. Okay, and I'm just gonna set this to, I guess, overlay? Yeah, there we go. It blends nicely. Kinda. Maybe a bit too much. Hmm. How's this look from a distance? I think it still looks quite fine. We'll roll with this. And just raise the saturation a little bit on all of these. That looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Uh, it was really just kind of washed out, I guess. Weird. I think this one needs to be a lot closer to like bluish green or something. There's something up with this this grassy ground that looks weird to me. It's more like that in the original image. I think I made it too orange. That's too green, so... Ugh. Something up with these colors. I'm not a super big fan of what's going on here. I'll do it manually. Let's see. Um... <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> kind of going over it with a brush, just what happens. That's a little better, I think. Um, the edges. Blend that. Blending this, blending that. A lot of these steps I won't even know how to explain, I'm just kind of going through stuff. <laughs> I'm just kind of just doing it, you know? Like a drawing tutorial that's like, draw the rest of the dang house! <laughs> or owl, I don't remember the, ex the specific one. It just kind of looks very messy now, but that's okay. Like, looking at it from far away, that's gonna be fine. As long as it's clear that it's a forest, and like the edge of a forest, and you just look out over the horizon, and there's stuff in the distance, and that's it. Add one more horizon line. No, that's too straight. Me when I... <laughs> that's barely a joke, you finished the rest of that. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. This one goes out to all you Rayman gamers in the audience. Oh, that's so very sweet of you also. Sonic and the Black Knights winning. Hell yeah! I mean, I would never influence the polls. I would never. Honestly, when I look up creators of stuff I like, I somehow find more interesting things about them. Like, I once looked up what the creator of Newground series Block had made, and he worked on a Madness Combat game. That sounds cool. Very nice. Yeah, usually you find, like, you find like cool stuff uh, about creators. Like, most, most creative people are fine. Um... It's usually the higher-ups that are less okay. <laughs> or the ones who are maybe from like a different generation, who may have like slightly different beliefs, because, you know, they were raised in a very different climate, and I respect that in some way. But if they don't, they, if they don't respect me or my friends, then hey, that's gonna be a problem. Frogger 2 has an amazing soundtrack. I gotta check that out. Learned a while ago, the actor actress who played Poe in the Teletubbies did adult movies. Well, good for her, I guess. <laughs> Looks pretty. Thank you! I appreciate it. I'm not too sure about it yet myself, but um, we'll roll with this. We'll roll with it. I'm just gonna add a sky as well. What the heck. You know, I'm gonna give y'all a very quick preview of one frame, I suppose. Hold on, one second, I get annoying. 
Getting weird pop-ups. There we go. Okay. Um, I need to check out one frame real quick. There we go. Ooh, ooh, spoilers. Ooh, ooh. Not really, but woo. Let me get this one up again. There we go. Okay, that's gonna be Sky. Sky's a very nice bright blue in this show. Or show, it's it's one short that I'm making, but yeah. I wanna do more in the future, someday. I have plenty of ideas, but uh, you know, let's try one first. <laughs> I gotta not set the bar too high for myself, which is hard. Yeah, add some quite thin clouds to that. I'm gonna do it all on one layer because I am insane. Because I am totally nuts. <laughs> God, that was that was Bubsy's second tagline in the in the short. Remember that the flipping Taco Bell short. I think it was actually sponsored by Taco Bell. Yeah. Kept saying like I am totally nuts. Like yeah, Bubsy, we get it. That's great, man. Like, stop, stop venting in general about your mental problems. <laughs> Awful. There we go. Okay. Um. Yippee. Clouds. Mental health is important. <laughs> I feel bad about making a joke about it. But also, it was for the funnies. Just, it's more so making fun of like the people who are like, erm, actually, no memes in general, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, come on, let people have their fun, let people talk about their stuff wherever they want in the server. Except, you know, not too much, but yeah. That yeah, looks fine. I love doing clouds. Fun. That looks pretty. quite like this. Let the sky a little darker in the distance. I might actually redo this sky later because I think it's gonna uh, become nighttime very slowly throughout the short. Yeah, that's something I wanted to do. Um, I almost forgot. So. There we go. There we go. That's a pretty sky right there. Alright. <laughs> I think you're nuts. <laughs> Is it why Bubsy says Taco Tuesday? No, I think. I'm not sure. The. The flipping Bubsy short, it had something to do with Taco Bell. I'm trying to remember what. Taco Bell ding. Dang. Ah, what was it? I don't know. There we go, that looks fine, that looks fine. Even this. Yeah, I think this looks acceptable. I'm just gonna have to... Okay, which characters are in the shot again? Let's see, that's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so that's a silhouette in the front. That's gonna work. Uh, I'll add the cauldron later, because I don't want to show you that background yet. That's a very important one. I can't show that. Hey, May, hello, how are you? I'm doing alright. I'm just making some backgrounds for my super, se super secret cartoon. While spoiling the whole thing by accident, though. <laughs> Going all right. I'm doing pretty well. Hope you're doing well too. Hmm. Gonna look. Uh, I think it's gonna look okay. I'm just not sure about the path. If I want to have that in the background or something, like you could see, like if they're walking. I don't know. I think the hills are alive with the sound of music. Um, I think the hills work well enough that they just kind of show where it goes. Yeah, let me just bring that a little bit. There we go. There we go. Some more depth in there. That ought to do it. There we go. Just some more depth. Got some hills are in front of one another. I think that's fun. The right layer. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna add some brush strokes back in there. I kind of erased some of them by going over them with the, uh, the softer brush. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. That looks fine, because it's it's, it's like, kind of like a farm field in the background, so it's supposed to look a little barren, a little bright. Maybe a little brighter than this, even. Yeah, 
I'll move that to green a little bit so the transition is a little more gradual. There we go. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. 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 And the background it is kind of yellow brown ish because it is like that in a different background that I made and I want to add some consistency. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This works. I do I want to have some shadows of these trees falling over the grass? Of course I do. It looks awesome. Okay. Why do I have that layer? I haven't used it. Why do I keep making new layers that I don't use? Wag. Okay. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how this looks actually. I think that's a little much. Got them. Um, <laughs> I think I've got to. What am I gonna do with this? Hold on, the shadows aren't supposed to... Well, they're kind of coming from everywhere. Like, there's there's different light sources here in the background now. Check this out. Multiply, and then... And I do this. And then I use my softer brush. To kind of erase what's farther away from the, from the light source. So it just kind of fades out. That looks quite nice. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Heck yeah. Alright, that's the background. I try not to put too much time into these because I have to actually finish the short. That will be nice. Doing alright. Background looks beautiful. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. This is not my favorite one so far, but it's uh I think it'll do. It's it's a shady one, it's just kind of like, oh they're in the forest, like stuff happening. Um, I want to add, I, I cannot resist adding just a little more to it. Um, who is texting me right now? Why are you sending me texts? Maybe some bushes or something. I want to have some more orange in here. Need to make sure that it's actually like not intrusive. Okay, like this. Maybe, maybe some bushes over here. That ought to do it. It needs to not be in the way of the characters, basically. Go, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. That looks fine. Yeah, I can take this and just kind of work with that. There we go, there we go, now that's a background. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this now. <laughs> Spoiler alert, someone will say I... That's not true, that's not true. <laughs> Bubsy after getting bottom surgery and getting is totally nuts. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> that's funny. Have, I, have you ever played Frogger 2? I have not, but you know, the, the flipping soundtrack of Frogger 1 makes me want to play these games. Notice the ribbit is from the soundtrack, also like the burp and fart noises. That's not actually me burping and farting. That's just the soundtrack from Frogger 1. <clears throat> I swear, it's not me. <laughs> you have to believe me, Jesse, you have to trust me. I did not burp and fart, it was the Frogger 1 soundtrack. Trees be, <laughs> trees be throwing shade. Kinda like the creator of Ren and Stimpy, except you're not a scumbag. Wow! Well, I'm glad I'm not a scumbag. That's nice. <laughs> Man, the flipping... Oh, John K. What a piece of work. Goodness gracious. If you want to get sad, look up John K, creator of Ren and Stimpy. Ugh. Alright, that's the background. Um, I've been streaming for 44 minutes. Oh, well, this was pretty fast. Um, Like Freddy Fast Bear. Let me just check my Discord DMs real quick. Somebody's trying to contact me. Ooh, exciting. I'm gonna check that out later. I'm uh, currently in talks with people who are providing voices for the animation, and I just now heard back from someone who recorded something, and it's gonna be so cool! This person's so flipping good! All my friends are so good at voices and, and doing things, and I... Ah, uh, it's so awesome. I, I can't wait to listen to that. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. Uh, but I have a stream to do. Right. Um, mm -mm. let me check the current status of the poll. That is... Ooh, that's Sonic and the Black Knight going head-to-head -head with Rayman 2. We're gonna need one more vote. <laughs> that's gonna be the deciding one. Until then, uh, I can just do some little doodle requests. Why not? Gonna doodle right here. Who wants me to doodle something? Any ideas? 
Until then, I'm drawing Rippin Frogger from memory. <laughs> it's a very stanky version of Frogger. It doesn't have an ass like that. I think. I don't know. Uh, I always forget frog anatomy. I think it's kind of like this. It looks disgusting. I hate him. I hate this version of Frogger. But yeah, he had like a little tie. I remember... Original Frogger just had like a bow tie. No, not a bow tie, like, like a, 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 you know, the thing, the tie. That's the one. The man, the frog, the gamer. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Looks disgusting, I hate this. <laughs> I don't like this frogger at all. He's not cute. More like John, not okay. <laughs> doodle Peppino Spaghetti. I cannot doodle him from memory. I actually tried the other day, but I just can't do it. Whatever happens, I just kinda like make this other guy. Hold on, he doesn't have the he doesn't have the dad. Like when when I tried to draw Peppino Spaghetti, I just ended up drawing the noise. Like it just looked like this. Like, that's him, right? That's just the noise. <laughs> little guy. Little pizza boy. Draw one, one, but I can do that. Just for you. Cool. DK. Donkey Kong. Pristine ass. What else? What else? What else? What else? Futurama called them with their frog back. Oh yeah, it kind of does look like a flipping hypnotoad. Let's see. Draw Rayman strangling Bubsy to death. I'm gonna draw them making out. Suffer. <laughs> I won't. I do want to draw some Bub real quick. Just some Bab. Bub Bub's burgers. Oh, oh my god, that's a that's a horrible idea. I'm gonna draw that. thinking about that one clip from Bob's Burgers where he feeds Teddy a sponge and then Teddy says like, "Ah, oh, you don't feed a guy a sponge, Bob! And I thought that was- is that like a reference to Spongebob? Was that intentional? Because that would be really funny. <laughs> what does- oh, what does his hair look like? It's kind of like- it's like a weird- it's like a bad comb over. It's like a pun they would have on the show, like totally nuts and it's just like a burger with peanuts. <laughs> I like me some Bob's Burgers, that's a cute ass show. <laughs> Kinda like this. No, I wanted to have like a little lip, but it looks more like a mouth. Same with Mario, by the way, like when, when Mario has his mouth closed, if you look closely at his bottom lip, it kinda looks like a little smiley mouth. With his wife, the armadillo, No. <laughs> Kinito pads. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna look that up. Maybe it's something I can draw real quick. I swear if this gives me a virus. I don't know what the heck that is, but I kind of like it. Sure. Seems some kind of like a uh, funky old aesthetics game. Okay, it's a horror game. It's one of those games. Okay, I see. One of those. As if they're all the same, but like... You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. 
There you go. That's that is that is very fun and simple to draw. I like little guys. He hasn't had his morning coffee yet. He just has bags under his eyes. I don't even drink coffee. I don't see the appeal. Why not just get hot chocolate? It's way nicer. There he is. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> Fuse AJ and Bubsy. I think he'll kill me. I think he'll just kill me and he'll be right to do it. Well, I'm having a romantic dinner. Of course, the dinner comes first. Blitz was gonna make it Frogger 3, but Konami said no, and Konami made the great quest. Oh, oh, that's sad. Like in terms of Frogger games, that's uh, the great quest was horrible for those who don't know. Look that up. It is uh, hilarious. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna draw AJ. Of course. Oh, what does this current Sona look like? I haven't drawn his Sona in so long. Uh, I think it's like the little shadow guy now. Um, I'm basically just making him a furry. As if he wasn't already. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> this looks cute! This looks cute, actually. Look at that! Yeah, that works. Probably. Mwah. <laughs> what a cutie patootie. Oh, right, Zapper the Zapper the something. Z Zapper the Wicked Crickets, that's the one. Man, that game, I heard mixed things about it. Oh, we need one more poll, we need one more, more poll vote, guys. We need one more, please. Please. Oh, please, I'm begging you. We suddenly hear a gunshot, <laughs> like after AJ storms into my room. Oh, one more vote. I just realized I haven't shared this flipping stream anywhere. And people still showed up, I appreciate that, thank you so much. <laughs> I, uh... Hmm... I'll just, I'll just stream it in, in some chat. <laughs> Gonna stream a game. Vote on your favorite option. Option, option sounds size. Size, size, What am I saying? Option sounds boring is what I was trying to say. I mixed that up with the the Dutch word for boring, which is sai, and then mix mix that up with size, the English word for well size. What in the heck was happening there? I was trying to talk and typing at the same time. Okay, there we go. Here it is. Gonna stream a game. Vote uh, uh for your favorite one. There we go. Words! I can words good. <laughs> Draw Bubsy celebrating his bottom surgery. <laughs> good for him. Her? I'm, I'm not sure. Either. Either one. It's valid either way. I'm just gonna put this in a couple chats and... Uh... Vote in chat. I should specify in chat, otherwise people aren't gonna know. Whoops. Oh, hello, uh, hello, Hane. I'm so glad you asked. This is Frogger. This is Frogger 1 on PS1. This soundtrack, I've, I've listened to it too many times during my streams. Uh, but it's, it's so good. I love it. Just check out any Frogger music, dude. It's so good. <laughs> Like, legit, there's so many good tracks. What's the name of the track? I don't know, dude, I just have this, like, giant 
audio track <laughs> of the soundtrack. It's it's if you look up Frogger the Great Co Frogger not the Great Quest. Oh my god. If you look up Frogger, he's back in the complete soundtrack and look for the track that plays at 2722. Okay? There you go. That's all I can give you for now. <laughs> this infuriates me. Everything infuriates you. <laughs> <laughs> also, fun fact, people pointed out uh, Kinito looks like a sick axolotl, yeah, because of its two friends are from the sea. He is not in his natural environment, he is definitely not. Look at this, look at this man. He is not okay. Hey, Gikigu, hello! I, I saw the stuff you sent me in DMs, gonna check that out later. Thank you so much, I am incredibly excited. Uh, but right now I'm gonna stream and stream for a bit. Um, can't stay long because of class, but hope you're having a good day. Yes, I am, I hope you're having a great day too. Uh, I just made a cool background. Hold on, let me let me show you that real quick. Well, it's it's kind of overrun with little critters now, but this is the background. <laughs> it's for the cartoon. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the polls right now it is in favor of Sonic and the Black Knight. Yes, that's awesome. Um, I mean, too bad Rayman Two fans. Oh gosh. Oh, definitely. Um. Mm. I was so, so hoping for that one to win. Sonic and the Black Knight, yes, let's go! <laughs> okay, one sec. Uh, let me, let me actually get that loaded up. The fart sounds are not me, that is the soundtrack. That is the, I have to specify, that is not me. Please, no, no, it's not me. I swear. Okay, uh, let me get my Wii booted up. My, my Wii, my regular Wii. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off Frogger soundtrack. Sorry, guys. I know that's what you all came for, but... Uh. Let's see... I'm excited for this one. Switch on over to... Whoop, there we go. And let me center that. Skibidabskidaloo. I center that. There we go. Sega. Yes! Yes! Actually gotta go, fun sticking around. Thank you! I appreciate it. Oh, this intro is so good! I love this game! <laughs> Legit, Sonic and the Black Knight is just fantastic. Who chose Sonic? I just wanna talk. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Rayman 2 some other time. I love Rayman 2, and that stream last time was really fun. Mark rigged the polls. <laughs> Wait, Rayman 2 won? Rayman 2 actually won? I didn't. I, look, when I booted up Sonic and the Black Knight, it was still different. This is bogus. Oh my god, I love this game so much. Ugh! Just the vibes of this, man. It's fantastic. Uh, Tails here, we're gonna call this one Tails, whatever. I'm not gonna play the entire game anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, so next time I'm playing Rayman, just to honor the polls. Fine. <laughs> no Frogger Listen Party? Unsubscribed. Blocked. I am no longer interested in your cartoon. No! <laughs> oh, this opening. Ah, oh, I love this game. I love Sonic and a Black Knight, Charlie. I love Sonic and a Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, skulls in a Sonic game? This is so dark. <laughs> I can't believe who actually voted for Rayman 2 in the last possible second. That is insane. Who dares defy me? <laughs> Have the Rayman 2 soundtrack in the background. <laughs> that would be sensory overload. It would be very funny, but at the same time, I I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, hi, Mark. Hope the volume is okay, by the way. I've not checked at all. Like, uh... Oh, this seems fine. Yeah, this seems good. Seems good. You can play Sonic if you want to. I'm gonna! <laughs> I love some Sonic. <laughs> I really do. There's something about this game that's so fun, and just playing it, like, without the motion controls um, actually makes it very enjoyable. The volume is great, the game could be a bit quieter, but I can hear you clearly. Thank you very much for that confirmation. Let me move my microphone a little bit more close to my face. There we go. 
That way I don't have to boost the game, probably. That should be fine. Also, this game's soundtrack is fantastic, and... Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bit where he actually eats one of the chili dogs. Pay, pay close attention, you'll see it. Actually, it's like right there in the middle of the screen, but just pay attention and you'll see it, is what I'm saying. And like, I know some folk like listen to streams instead of watching them, so... Uh, if you want to see something disgusting, put on your 3D glasses now. I've never had a chili dog in my life. Look at that. They didn't bother to actually animate him like chewing or anything. Like the, the the flipping chili dog just goes in there and the mesh is like slightly deformed. This is peak Sonic. Like the characterization of him in this game is fantastic. It is so fun. <laughs> the chilled dog. Mm -mm -mm. Sonic always made me think that chili dogs would taste amazing when you were a kid. Okay. Uh... When you finally had one, you thought it was just okay. Well, maybe there's like better ones out there. Who knows? Oh my god, my controller is actually vibrating during this intro. That's so fun. Like, uh, in time with the stuff that's happening. Ugh. Oh, I would love a remake of this game. That just takes out the motion controls fully. And, uh... Well, that's it, basically. Uh, maybe just streamlines it a little bit, because it can be glitchy and a little wonky at times. Um, but overall, this is still a solid Sonic game, I will say. There is some frustrating stuff later on, with some, some optional missions, but uh, the main campaign, quite enjoyable, I will say. There, It has its ups and downs, but uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, didn't ask. You need to try a chili dog from a Sonic restaurant. Try them at home, not a fan, but maybe they're better at fast food chains. Who knows? It seems like one of those fast foods that you just kind of eat whenever you're at some event or something, and it's like all fun and like, oh, it's cozy to just have something, something disgusting to shove into your mouth. Like, yay! Carbohydrates! And then, you know, in that moment, it may taste like, oh yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Like, I had a long day, I've been screaming a lot of that stuff, and it's just like, I need some disgusting slob. And then you eat it, and it's fantastic. Why'd you stop? I oh, these cutscenes are so lovely, too. This is kind of like how I animate. <laughs> how I do my animation. It's, it's going to look a little bit like this. Just characters, like, uh, uh, with a filter on it, so it kind of looks like they're being, like, a little bit manipulated. Like, they're stop-motion-y, slightly. Um... It's just still images, basically, and it looks pretty, but it doesn't move much. I hate it when I bite into food and the mesh deforms. <laughs> that is pretty annoying. I once bit into a sandwich and it enabled the flipping uh, the mirror modifier, and then there were two of me, and one of, like somebody had to shoot one of us, and I had to figure out which one was the real one. Needless to say, they fucked up. Didn't ask. Whoa! <laughs> I can't make them all rude. It's out of character. Sonic is great in this. I love him. Special challenge. Okay. I hope I put the control settings right on my Wii remote. Hold on. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hold on. Just. Is it not doing anything? There we go. Okay, I put it on this. I, I mean, my Wii Remote is working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is it telling me to attack here? There's nothing to attack. There's nothing to guard against here either. There we go. Alright, the homing attacks like this. And then if you press it again in the air, you do a stomp. Which is kind of weird, but uh, whatever. Heck yeah. People put so much thought into like, Oh, why does Sonic need a car? Why does he need a sword? Because it's fun as hell! <laughs> it is actually quite fun. If you just have a button to control the sword and you don't have to like wiggle the motion control thing over and over again, it's pretty cool. You're just slipping and slashing away. Like a sword is a perfect weapon for Sonic. 
just a fast-paced, fun weapon. I love this music. Oh, class is starting soon, gotta go. Love the character designs of the game, catch you later. Yeah, talk to you later. Thanks for stopping by. Identify. That's not a Narcissus, is it? Is that... Is that... Are, do they come in white? That looks different. Oh. Like the Narcissus... Narcissus? Narcissi? What's the plural of Narcissus in English? I don't know. But uh, the ones over here are all... They're, they're yellow, so... Weird. was bewitched by the power of immortality in a scabbard bestowed. He became immortal, summoning legions from the underworld. He is plunging his kingdom into a world of horror and chaos. You mean like a big old haunted house? <laughs> this will be cool! It'll be like Halloween all year long! Maybe so. Thousands of people died, Sonic. Nobody left to enjoy it. We must You're on the wrong side of history. You mean take out King Arthur? What about the immortal thing? Beyond this misty lake sleeps a sacred sword. Attack the apples. Ah, yes, of course. Genius, yeah, yeah. masterful gambit, sir. Wait, Sonic. <laughs> I like the little whistle. That's so cute. Yeah! Oh, I love the art for this. It's so sweet. It's just something so fun about Sonic in medieval times, or like in a different story, like mythology or whatever. It's like putting Mario in space. It's it's like genuinely, I love it. It's kind of like how uh, Disney takes inspiration from um, lot, like lots of old stories and uh, things, while DreamWorks takes inspiration of more modern stuff. You know, like uh, books and and hold on, I already played this mission. <laughs> oh well, here we go. Here we go again. Like, DreamWorks takes inspiration from, like, modern books, and not, not just fairy tales like uh, Disney does it. I like that. It's different. But it still makes sense. Like, a narrative and world perspective. There's, there's just so many places to take inspiration from. And if Sonic took more inspiration from, from I don't know, storybooks and whatnot, while well, Mario takes more inspiration from, uh, I don't know, like, some, some Japanese folklore, but also mythology and just, I don't know, real-life locations. I, I feel like there's no wrong place to take inspiration from. Oh, I got a higher star ranking this time. Let's go. Maybe I got some items to identify. It's a flippin' donut. What do you mean it's a donut? Why is that here? <laughs> when were donuts invented? Was that in medieval times? I kinda doubt that. There we go. Retrieve the sacred sword. Whoop. There we go. This game pretty. You can count on me. I mean, stuff like this happens to me all the time. I mean, this is the second time Sonic got like uh, into a flipping storybook thing. It's so dumb that they never continued the storybook series. Like this was such a fun spin-off kind of way. Just, just something fun to have. You know, like a different kind of Sonic flavor. Like it all needs to be like oh, new core games now. Like it all needs to fit within the grand structure of what Sonic is. like, and, and I get that, because Sonic was all over the place during these days, uh, when this game came out. Uh, so they tried to unify the brand more. I actually saw an interview recently with uh, Izuka, uh, the guy who directs uh, Sonic, basically, right now. And is in charge of the whole IP and whatnot. Uh, and that's, that's... like He's trying to do some cool stuff. Like, he is genuinely trying to bridge the gap between a lot of Sonic things, um, and trying to trying to really define what Sonic is now. Um, and so people know what to expect when they buy a Sonic game, which was just inconceivable back during 2006 for, uh, until 2010. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that's a good thing from a, you know, marketing perspective. But at the same time, I wish there were more Sonic spin-offs. I wish there was more stuff that was very creative and, and different and- ah, my ass! 300,000 wild boars. Sonic saying he's falling asleep while he's getting his ass kicked by a bunch of boars.
I will say though, I was the, the the sword slashing was faster because right now when you slash your sword, you always slow down, and uh, I don't know, I don't like that. I wish I kept the same pace. Very well. Look at those pigs flipping fly. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna kill that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it gets close. Come on. Get over here, buddy. Come on. There we go. Whoopsie daisy. Woohoo! Ow! Why can I not just get any closer? Like, it's, just, it's right there. Why, why must there be an invisible wall? Unavoidable chin move. <laughs> Red plant, purple plant. <laughs> Come on, die. There we go. How's it going? Sonk? It certainly is, Sonk. How are you? I'm playing some Sonic and a Black Knight. I love this one. Ching. I think I prefer this Sonic voice over the current one. The Frontiers one is too deep. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, I like this one a lot. I think Jason Griffith Sonic is... Uh, I mean, it's the one I grew up with, so I have some attachment to it, you know. But uh, for Sonic Frontiers, I feel like the performance that uh, Roger Craig Smith gives is... Uh, it just fits. It fits with the vibes of the story that they're going for. And uh, that's good. I don't think there's one right way to voice Sonic, but we can all have our preferences, of course. The sword. There it is. He just tries to take it out and rips it in half. Are you ready? Ready for what? If you remove that sword and defeat King Arthur with it, you shall forever be the worst of knights, slayer of kings. Guess I can't be the hero every time. <laughs> Sacred sword. It goes by the name Caliban. It's kind of sorry looking. <laughs> <laughs> you are the chosen one. If I recall correctly, they actually made like a Wii mode holder, like a like a thing you put around your Wii remote, uh, in the shape of this this sword. <laughs> and that is so cute. Yeah, well, I love that. Oh yeah, flipping boss fight right away. Oh my god, the music in this boss fight is fantastic. Let's check it out. How bad at can he be? He looks a lot more gold in this than in the cutscenes. I think it's just it might just be the lighting here. Woohoo! Come on, get me over there. Woohoo, there we go, yeah. So this is just how you do combat in this game, you just jump over everything. <laughs> Woohoo. I'm not even hitting him. Oh, this is this is so cool. Look at this. Look at how cool that is. Just everything is made more cool by Sonic. They, they could put him in flipping Shakespeare. I don't care. Have him grinding on rails as Hamlet does his iconic speech. <laughs> Fishing pole. All right. Was Big the Cat in this game? I think he was in Secret Rings, uh, that you can like find uh, travel logs from Dick, Big the Cat, who was also sucked into the Arabian Nights story for some reason. Are you sure you're a sacred sword? It is you, sir, who lacks the proper fighting. Ha! A fool of a knight, not even worth slaying. Do you see? He thinks so. What the hell? I always slay. <laughs> For as long as he bears that scabbard, he may never 
never be able to defeat King Arthur. So what are we gonna do? Yeah, this was such a clever way to do budget cutscenes. It's very charming. See for yourself. Onward, my young maid. Stop calling me Nate! <laughs> I'm Sonic the Hedgehog! Very well then. I shall call you Nate the Hedgehog. Whatever, you oversized letter opener. Misty Lake. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, I forgot you actually got to play as different characters later on. And they all suck. <laughs> Basically, they have like a different air move or something, but uh, none of them are as fun to use as Sonic's big flipping forward slash. Whoopsie daisy. Whoops, sorry. Oh, excuse me. Oh, killing people. Oh, 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 killing you, killing you, killing you, killing you, killing you. Whatever, whatever. Oh, killing you, killing people, killing them. Was that good? Was that was that the goal? I don't remember. <laughs> Still got four stars. Even though I killed like four people. Well, one star for each person, I guess. Thank you, Caliburn, for promoting the slaughter. Moist cocky. Ugh, why would it be moist? Gross. I like crunchy cookies. What's your favorite cookie, chat? You might want to see a doctor about that one. Because a gentleman shouldn't have such an edge. Gentlemen? Who are you calling gentlemen? Seek out the blacksmith in the castle town. I must be presentable when we meet the Lady of the Lake. What are you gonna do, Merlina? Merlina? Hello? Why didn't Alice tell me that Sonia and I were destined to be together? Uh, sounds kind of gay, but all right. Forgive me, Sonic, but I would be recognized in town. <laughs> you see, I'm an influencer. They would know me. All right, then I guess it's so long for now. Yes, may your journey be safe. All right, let's check it out. Uh, I think this goes to the world map. There we go. Camelot Castle. All right, through the town. That's fun. I like the environments in this game a lot. A lot of variety. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at this. I want to run around in this world, not the flipping map from Frontiers. It looks a lot more interesting, to be honest. I mean, I like Frontiers. I really enjoy playing through it the first time, but... Uh, Every consecutive playthrough, I'm just like, eh, this is just not my jam. Like, it's just, it's just a lot I don't quite enjoy about Frontiers. It's it's fun. It was super interesting on my first playthrough, but uh, yeah, again, like it's just when you're when you've seen it all, like there's just no more surprises. And it's just a little boring. Especially the environments are so dull. Like, come on, you're gonna make an open world Sonic and that's what you're gonna go with? Just these abandoned places? It is interesting, but also I've seen this in every indie game ever. <laughs> Final boss already? <laughs> yes. Wait, oh, there must be quite a bit of delay actually, um, on your end. When you're watching this, um, uh, whenever you get to this part, if you want to catch up on the stream, if you're like, uh, lagging behind a little bit, just, uh, put the video at twice the speed and you can catch up very quickly. There we go. I'm doing pretty well, actually. I say, right as I get my ass kicked. I'm doing fine. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> like, he just breaks the fourth wall directly and just gives you a huge thumbs up with his big hand. Uh, whatever this is. It's just a flipping chili dog. Why is there a chili dog in medieval times? Why is that here? 
or a rusty helmet in medieval times? I don't believe it. Hello, Mark. Hey, Dreamy Chan. Hello. Glad you could make it. How are you? Like how patient the horse was during the fights. <laughs> the horse likes Sonic. That's why he can't, uh, he just lets him catch up. Pretty good. Well, I'm happy to hear that. I just did some art earlier in the stream, and now I'm playing some Sonic. Stupid piece of garbage, but Caliban works too. Where have I heard that name before? Sorry, but could you speed it up a bit? We're kind of in a hurry. Sure, leave it to me. What if he just melts the sword and makes a new one? Does the sword keep the same, like, brain, personality? This is some Ship of Theseus stuff. Uh, so finish using Soul Search on the ground. Yeah, you really have to read the descriptions for these missions because they get a little uh, confusing sometimes. They're not always like reach the goal. Sometimes you have to do a very specific thing. Did I already mess up? No, I did not. I did not. I have to finish using Soul Search on the ground. Oh, okay, let's try it out now. Woohoo! Soul Search is pretty fun. It's kind of like a boost. Kind of like this game's boost. Hold on, is this the exit? I need, to, I need to figure out like where the end of the level is so I can make sure that I actually finish using Soul Search on the ground. There we go, yes. Mission failed. What do you mean mission failed? Wasn't that the whole point? What the heck? If the sword was melted into a new sword, it would have the same personality. Maybe. So the soul is in the metal. Interesting. Why is Sonic collecting lumps? Oh yeah, I never quite understood that. In this game, they're not like rings, they're ring fairies. Woo! <laughs> Even though in the, um, like Sonic and the Secret Rings, it just collects regular rings. So I don't know what's up with that, man. <laughs> Am I supposed to hit like a certain amount of enemies? I, I, I don't know. I think I'll just use it normally. Whoop, bidoo. Try that again. Woohoo! It looks like a red fairy makes a soul gauge go up. What's a soul gauge? I'm seeing things. Whoa! Is there a time limit? No, there's not. Okay. Hmm. I'm supposed to finish using the soul search. Well, I did use the soul search. So what's wrong? What am I doing wrong here? There we go. What? So what happens? I guess it ran out or something. This makes you want to remake English with Rayman, but with Sir Ray a lot as a main character. Hey, that's sounds fun. The Rayman educational games, they, uh, they're they a fun concept. Just kind of poorly executed in a lot of ways, but... Um, it's still, you know, it's nice to have educational games with Rayman. I like that concept. Just that the games themselves are apparently not so very good all the time. But yeah, I can customize my character, I can like, install, some, <laughs> install some mods on my sword. You can, uh, you can customize your sword a little bit. Um, not in appearance, just in... Uh, just what it does, like uh, get some extra moves, like start with 10 rings, you know, that kind of stuff. Some very small customization things that also happened in... Uh, whoopsie daisy. Oh, whoopsie. I forgot that I have this. This is just basically the homing attack, but slower. But it, it looks cool as heck. There we go. Or is, do I have a mission? Finish using Soul Search in the air. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yes. No, not really. I'm skipping everything. But that's okay. Okay, I forgot to use Soul Search in the air. 
<laughs> Let's try it again. I'm just gonna kill all the enemies. Usually in this game, the, the the dominant strategy is to skip everything, like to just not engage with the enemies. So the few missions where you actually have to, it's a little unintuitive. Looks cool as heck, though. Woohoo! You pull it off well, you can just keep doing that forever. Did I do it? Yeah! Nice. Oh wait, I thought like... Ooh, nice! Uh, thanks Mark, I was like five minutes behind! Oh my god, yeah I had a hunch! Because you were still at the boss battle! Oh my goodness. What is Snickerdoodles? I don't know what that is. Sounds like a good drawing podcast name. Let's see, where do I go next? Uh, deep woods, deep woods, deep woods. Reach the lady of the lake. Got it. But, uh, let's see, I've been streaming for about one, uh, one hour and a half. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. Oh, it's already 10 a.m. over here. Yeah. Oh, this background's so pretty. Look at all that. Huge tree in the back. This part is way too easy. It's so not involved. I don't like the delay on the sword sl swinging, too. Why can't I even, like, turn around? What's the point of this? Yeah, there's, like, a huge delay on swinging the sword. I don't... It should just be immediate. Like, as if you were pressing a button. <laughs> that enemy was still floating there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope that horse is okay. Ouchie. Woohoo, this is pretty. Oh, uh, oopsie day. Okay, I was going very fast. Yeah, bees. The bees killed me. <laughs> oh, it's the gosh darn bees. The horse is probably fine. I hope so. I don't like seeing animals get hurt. Bees! There we go. Oh, oh, oh close one. Just made it! I like how there's some different knights designs too for the enemies. Very charming. Woohoo! Whoopsie daisy. Alright, there's, there's this stupid mini game where you have to like give people your rings and whatnot. Whoa, mimic! Yeah, sick! That was quite fun. Freaking bees murked you. <laughs> I don't know. Sonic gets stung by a bee and it's the same... It's the same, like, death force as getting hit in the head by a spiked ball. He's just very allergic to bees. Most people would be like, oh, well, just get, like, an EpiPen or something or just walk it off if you're not allergic. But, uh, no, to Sonic, that's death. That is instant death. Death of the instant kind. Alright. Ooh, boss time! Awesome. Okay, let's do this one. Um, I think after that I'm gonna head out. Found you, apprentice knight, enemy of my I think I might stream more stuff where I just do backgrounds for my cartoon because it helps me keep focused. Um, and it, it gets people a chance to get an early peek at some of the stuff. So I think it's a win-win situation. I would hope so. It actually plays the um, music here from Sonic Adventure 2. Very out of place for... You know, a medieval Sonic game, but I guess it works for Shadow. Will you abandon your sword and flee? Sounds good to me. 
Why can you PNG thing also? Thank you. I don't know when the last time you uh, you joined, but uh, I've had this one for a couple streams now. I quite like it. Also, my cat. We, he's there now. Very well then. Brace yourself, Knave the Hedgehog. Okay, now I do remember these battles being kind of tough. Now we shall see what you can do. Ouch. Okay, I completely forgot how to play these. Was that it? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you sure his name is not Sir Razor Lot? Should be. That was way too easy. I know there's really cool ways to beat these uh, bosses because you can un actually unlock little videos of the developers playing the game and showing you how to beat certain bosses. Um, like in a cool, stylish way. Wow. Which is very fun. I wish more games did that. That's too short IMO. Yeah, well, I've, I mean, I've played this game before also. This is the first mini boss. Um, it is kind of short if, you're, if you've played it before and you kind of know how to hit him. My mem 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 what am I saying? My muscle memory kicked back in. Sawblade lost. Edge Lord McGee. All good suggestions. Let's bundle them and get them to Sega. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Been waiting for you, knight from another world. Whoa! Fool, <laughs> where are you going? But that Sir Edgelot of Magishire. To the Lady of the Lake. Bow your head. I think I know why you're here. It's about Excalibur, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. You don't waste any time, lady. Show some respect. <laughs> Only just occurred to me, but I think the um, the art for these cutscenes it, it's kind of traced over 3D models, or maybe they just put like a funny shader on these models. I don't know if it's hand drawn, like just just drawn over the models, or if it's just like rendered in a cool way. Either way, it looks very charming. I like it a lot. Eh, sure, whatever. While I'm here. I mean, innocent. They were thrown into a dungeon. Maybe they're all like murderers or something. Maybe they deserve it. I guess nobody's innocent. You, have three days. you probably thought about shoplifting once. That's just as bad as actually shoplifting. I get it. She's only gonna Everybody who's ever had bad thoughts is going to hell no matter what. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this will not be easy. Huh. I'm the world's fastest hedgehog. Check it out! You'll be calling me Sir before you know it! There we go. Alright, come on. Let's uh, let's do one more mission. Yeah, okay, so it, it opens up a little more and you can just do several different ones. Uh, uh, come on, castle as well. It's kind of hard to see like which ones are mandatory. Townspeople thing. Rescue the town's better. Let's just do this one. This is like an actual main mission. The other ones are more of a... Uh... <laughs> Fourth test is a spelling test. Watch out. <laughs> Time to prove myself as a knight. Knocks down a building! <laughs> well, it's a wall, but still. What do you mean, sorry? You did that on purpose. That was just... You are not sorry. You just did that. <laughs> ouchies, ouchie. Zooey mama. Wow. 
Why is it not swinging? Swing your sword, dude! There we go, okay. It's feeling a little bit awkward, these things where you have to hit the damn- Whoa, okay, there we go. Ouchie. Come on. What the heck? Oh, that's bogus. Come on. Get out of the way. That's it. That's the that's the mission. That's the whole mi- <laughs> That's way too short. <laughs> Come on, man. Maybe they had longer levels and I just cut it up into smaller bits. I don't know. That's happened a lot before with Sonic games. Like Sonic Colors, for example. You ever notice how some of the, uh, the acts that you play through, they just kind of end abruptly? And then you can see the next act in the distance. That's because they actually were cut up during development. Because they didn't have enough content for a full game. Hold on. Oh, I'm supposed to give these people their stuff. I forgot about that. Well, and I already messed up. Okay, let's do it. There you go. Maybe there's some money in these flipping pots, I don't know. Okay, there's money in here. Okay, I gotta get that. Because I am not getting through this mission. <laughs> Come on, do it. I messed it up, no! I can still fix this. Somehow. There we go. If there's more townsfolk up ahead, maybe. Hello? Okay, 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 I can do this. Come on. I hate these quick time events. There we go. One more! Please. There we go. Okay, come on. Don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. Yeah, baby. Now we just head for the finish line because I don't want to do any more of these. <laughs> these. These quick time events are very boring. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> just let those touch people get fucking... <laughs> Just harassed by those knights. Don't even do anything about it. Yeah, I'm Sonic. I'm posing dramatically for the camera. I win at the end of the day. <laughs> Why is Sonic breaking pots? That's a Link thing. Yeah, Nintendo, Nintendo's gonna DMC at this stream. Because I broke Spire. I can't speak. <laughs> I've been talking for too long. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it a day over here. Um... This was a very fun stream. Thank you all so much for joining. I had a blast. Uh, first of all, that background. For those who didn't catch that, I'm gonna actually show that real quick. Yep, stop that. Uh, da, da, da. Nobody's seeing this. Oh, no, whoa, whoa. That's just my... Oh, ooh, wacky. Ooh, what could that be? Ooh. Uh, uh, look at this. <laughs> Quick time events are boring in general. Yeah, they can be fun, but uh, generally I'm not a fan of that. Here you go. This is the, uh, <laughs> minus the sketches. <laughs> this is the background that I worked on today. It's gonna be in a cartoon that I'm working on, and it's gonna be pretty cool. There's gonna be a lot of characters here in front. Um, like, there's gonna be a silhouette on the left of a character, and then there's gonna be two characters in the middle, and some, some rocks, and there's gonna be, like, a big boiling pot thing in the background that is just huge and over there. Um, uh, and that's it. And I'm excited to show you more of this, but for now, I am gonna leave it at this. What kind of Wii was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Love this background too. Thank you very much. I'm happy to hear it. I like the uh, the the contrast of the um, the sky and the trees over here. I think that's very fun. All right. <laughs> Way A is the jippy before yippy. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna head out, people. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you again next time. And uh, yeah. Have a great evening or day or whatever, whatever you are, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.